Yes! Europe! <laughs> yes, come on! We love you, Europe! Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 WTF British moments of May 2021. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're going to be looking at the most shocking and unbelievable news stories from the UK this month. Let us know which you think is the funniest in the comments below, or if you've got a story to tell yourself. Why doesn't she visit you in the kitchen? Well, she probably does. If you disrupt this meeting, I will have to remove you from it. Um, are you sure, Chloe? Number 10, Jackie Weaver at the Brits. You have no authority here, Jackie Weaver. No authority at all. Her 15 minutes of fame after the disastrous Hanforth Parish Council meeting in February aren't over yet. Jackie Weaver has been in the public eye once again when she made an appearance at the Brit Awards of all places. The event opened with a sketch also starring Line of Duty's Martin Compton and Vicky McClure. Mother of God, they're bringing out the gaffer. Right. Shall we bring this Brit Awards to order? Comston and McClure brought on Weaver as their new gaffer. What happened to Hastings, we have no idea. But Jackie promptly kicked Jack Whitehall from the call. To go from organising a parish council meeting to opening the Brit Awards is bizarre to say the least, and she's also started a comedy podcast to further give Whitehall a run for his money. Jackie, don't you dare! Number 9, Struck by Lightning. Getting struck by lightning while you're in the safety of your own home in the middle of the day is the last thing anybody expects to happen. But happen it did to one man in Boscombe. It was Craig Rudkin's birthday when the unfortunate event happened, and all he wanted to do was sleep off a big birthday lunch he'd had. Unfortunately, the lightning storm rolled in and an electrical surge found Craig, whose bedroom was in the basement of his house. He was slightly injured and ambulances were quick to attend the scene. On the bright side, nobody else in the street on that day was targeted by Zeus. Number 8. Null Points Getting null points is just as much of an achievement in Eurovision as actually winning. Every so often, a country submits a song so shockingly bad it doesn't earn a single point, and in 2021, the UK had that honour. It was only the second time in history that the UK got null points, after Gemini's performance in 2003, and the first time any country had since 2015. The culprit was James Newman, who sang a song about lockdown, though he was somewhat overshadowed by the two giant trumpets on stage with him. You and I gonna light up the room. The British performance wasn't helped any by Amanda Holden causing a diplomatic incident by joking she didn't know any languages other than English. Good evening, bonsoir, goedenavond. That is good evening in French and Dutch, although I've got absolutely no idea which <laughs> is which. Number 7. Clamping War there's nothing worse than encountering an overzealous parking attendant who's desperate to give you a ticket or clamp your vehicle for seemingly no reason at all. One man in Gloucestershire decided to take the fight to the clampers, however, after his car got clamped because he wasn't able to pay off one parking ticket. Um, so I explained my situation to them. I said that um, I really couldn't afford that sum of money. Um, and as a full-time single father. The clamp wasn't put on properly, and he managed to get it off. Then he chained it to a lamp and demanded the collection agency pay him the cost of his fines to retrieve it. It's not yet clear whether the council is going to submit to his demands. Um, so it's good to actually see them eat their own words on this occasion. Number 6. Flake Crisis we're coming into summer, and if there's one thing the Brits hold in extremely high regard, it's the 99p ice cream cone. But 2021 might see a debilitating lack of 99s, because Cadbury's is in the midst of a flake shortage. Apparently, the chocolate company has faced unprecedented demand for ice cream flakes. 
which are slightly smaller than the normal flakes you'd buy in the shop. Perhaps Cadbury thought the terrible weather that struck the UK this month would lower the desire for ice cream. Whatever the reason, we hope the crisis is over by the time summer really gets going. Number 5. Couple Eats Cat Food This elderly couple from Sheffield thought they'd stumbled upon a hidden gem, tins full of extremely delicious, juicy pâté that nobody else seemed to know about. The only problem was that the pâté was cat food. They'd spread it on some bread without noticing. While admittedly the British couple were in France at the time and they said they couldn't read the label, it did still have an actual picture of a cat on it, so they had every chance to realize what they'd done. Their mistake only became clear when they'd asked their daughter, who'd given them the cat food, to get them some more pâté. It just goes to show you should always read the label. Number 4. 800 pounds on takeaways It was recently revealed that Prime Minister Boris Johnson had spent a total of 27,000 pounds on organic takeaways delivered to Number 10 in secret over the course of nine months, which works out at roughly 800 pounds a week. To make matters worse for the PM, he didn't even pay for the food himself. Rumors claim that Tory donors were involved in the expense. It's not the only scandal like this he's been involved in recently either, after it also came out that he tried to use conservative donor money to refurbish his flat. Still, spending £800 on takeaways is absolutely baffling. Boris has spent about the same as the UK's average salary on fast food alone. Number 3. Three in a bed I've been psychic all of my life from a... Uh, forever. Presumably, Jane knew her husband David was a psychic when they first got married, but nothing prepares you for this. The couple came on this morning to talk about how they've been subjected to some interesting visitations, to say the least. Apparently David's mother-in-law, who died a few years ago now, frequently pops up to say hello while Jane and David are in bed together. I remember the first time I saw Jane's mum at the bottom of the bed. Uh, she's only been passed over a couple of years now. Luckily, she isn't a vindictive ghost out for revenge and was, by all accounts, a lovely woman while she was alive. But it's still the last thing anybody wants to happen in the bedroom. We do not all go to the same place. It very much depends on how you live this earthly life as to where you will go to in the spirit world. But your mother-in-law came to your bedroom. The ordeal was so strange that Jane even wrote a book about it. Number two, line of duty finale. If there's anything I can do, just let me know. Since 2012, viewers of Jed Mercurio's wildly popular police drama have been dying to see Hastings, Arnott and Fleming get to the bottom of the corrupt cabal of bent coppers plaguing the city. Finally, in 2021, we were set to get answers in the season finale. Who was H? Also known as the fourth man, really. Who was the organized crime group's top man? Give us his name. We won't spoil it here, but suffice to say, the answer was a resounding disappointment. Everybody thought Mercurio was going to pull off something spectacular, but that just didn't happen. It wasn't as bad as Game of Thrones, but still a nonsensical conclusion. Come off it, no way. Number one, I won't leave the house. Right now it's the Indian variant that obviously brought the cases quite high and in Bolton. One woman in Bolton went viral this month while discussing the threat the Indian coronavirus variant, which has been detected in parts of the UK, poses to the end of the pandemic and restrictions. She was also asked whether she was worried about the strain, to which she responded that she was so worried she wouldn't leave the house. Real women, I won't even leave the house. The internet quickly picked up on this because the woman was, in fact, standing outside in the middle of Bolton Town Centre when she made this claim. She wasn't even wearing a mask while talking to the camera. I won't even leave the house. This came after stealthy travel restrictions have already been implemented in Bolton and other parts of the country. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and subscribe for more great content.